Alright. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go so, through the whole. So thing. that's why you brought it. Right. <laughs> as I soon as I, as soon as it took too long to switch had. between apps, I was just, I was done with it. <laughs> Easily the best intro we've ever done. <laughs> Welcome yeah, everybody okay. to episode twenty-four, I believe. Uh, let me just check my notes. Yep, episode 24 of the Too Soon Podcast. Oh God, I'm, your already host, count. I'm your host, Liam, brought to you with your co-host, Auric. Fuck you for calling me a co-host. I don't fucking care. I don't even know how this fucking thing works. I don't usually do this. And then also, <laughs> Trey, he's there somewhere. And no! <laughs> <laughs> and then our special guest, Jessica. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's her entire intro right there. She gives away here. There. Yeah, we got no Trenton today because he's a bitch and he decided to move. Yeah, it's like, who just does me that? here now. So if our yep. voices are just completely out of boy. sync, it's because we're bad at clapping at the right time. Yep. Either that or because Trenton's bad at editing. Um, yeah, he's also bad at being on this podcast. Yeah, he's bad at telling us this that he isn't going to fucking record episode. this week. Uh, I found out like an hour ago. Right. Well, no, he did mention it last week, but we didn't, I wasn't like, there. Wasn't really set in stone, and we didn't know what to do to move on from there. Yeah. But whatever. We're good yeah. enough, right? Yeah, we're we're the. I'd say we are the lifeblood of the podcast. Yeah. As your Especially only, Jessica. as your only viewer, I say heck yeah. <laughs> Especially now that not Jessica's a viewer, because no one sees this. No, she's a viewer, my man. <laughs> I can't see anything in general, so just let me live. Are you wearing your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this week I got a fancy fucking story for y'all. Yeah, you it, you've been holding out on this. Yeah, I've been hyping up this story for a while because it I feel be like good. it is. It's honestly one of my favorite stories that has ever happened to me. All right. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be because it's a terrible moment in my life, but <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. All right. So Saturday morning, I'm, I'm laying in bed and my dad and mom are like yelling at me. They're like, you need to come downstairs and help us fucking move a bunch of rocks because we have a, we were building the pool <laughs> as the world knows by now. And uh, the whole world. Yeah. The whole world knows that we're building a pool and they had to take a shit ton of rocks out of the ground. And there was pretty much just a giant stack of rocks over in the side of my, like, backyard. Now there's a significantly smaller stack of rocks. And Congratulations. Yeah, because we've just been slowly getting rid of rocks. But on Saturday, I was helping my dad and my mom load my, my truck full of uh, rocks. Like, these big rocks, too. Like, not, like, you know, like, size of, like, a grapefruit they were like Dwayne the Rock yeah they were like Dwayne the Rock Johnson wow that's heavy (laughs) yeah they were heavy so me and my dad have are like lifting up this one rock to move it and I don't know what happened between like he lifted it too hard or I like dropped the rock and my finger ended up getting smashed between one rock and another rock so right now like a portion of my finger is just like it's essentially being held on by the fact that I kept it in a band-aid, and mm. it's just, like, stuck on now. And how did I all... not notice this today? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you didn't notice. I, mean... I wasn't wearing a band-aid on my finger, and there's just this giant red mark on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it'll be in the link dump. I have pictures. I'm not um, observant with people yo, I know. I'm only observant right with strangers. See... Here, Jessica. I don't know yeah, where my phone is. Put a picture in the link dump. Yeah, or there'll be a it, picture uh, in the link dump. Not for and... life or whatever. Oh, I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys after. Um, so I, like, I screwed up my finger and like, as soon as the rock hit my finger and then subsequently the other rock, I started freaking out, like freaking out way more than a normal person would if a rock got slammed into their finger. And my parents were just like, come on, you need to like, stop freaking out. You need to calm down. So like my mom helped me. She brought me inside, like she was helping me clean off the wound and then she was helping me put band-aids on it. And I'm standing at the uh, my kitchen counter, and my mom's putting a Band-Aid on my finger. And I'm just staring at my finger, like, in my mom's hand. And then I'm asleep. <laughs> so, what? So I fainted. Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the thing with fainting is you go from being totally conscious to being totally unconscious in, like, zero seconds. 
Yeah. I am a pretty large person in comparison to my mother, who is not uh-huh. a large person. And so when I started falling, my mom couldn't do shit about it. <laughs> Did <laughs> so, you fall on her? No, I fell backwards. Oh, you so did? So my mom's Jeez. in front of me, and I fell backwards just straight onto tile. Did you faint so, because of the sight of blood or something? No. Because he saw his mom. Yeah, saw my mom <laughs> Every time you see your like, own mom. It's crazy, though, because... It, I had when I by the time I had fainted, my finger had already been wrapped up in uh, it's called band aids, and like you couldn't see the wound at all. I'm so assuming I'm it just, wasn't from blood loss. No, it wasn't from blood loss. Like I, I was like very little bleeding. Was it extreme but, pain? No, it was. I as soon as the rock hit my other finger, I'm assuming that like my brain went into shock immediately. <laughs> because that's the only thing that I can imagine because like I was hyperventilating my heart was racing like I was freaking out do you think you were gonna die or something Jeez. no it's just like I don't usually <laughs> get injured like this and I assume that like my finger was broken I don't know why uh, <laughs> but we can move it and it's never broken yeah, no, I don't think I, you have I'm a totally high good. pain tolerance no see I have a pretty high pain tolerance but I don't know what was up with this one moment do that you? it all yeah it all went out the fucking door so, so I go from standing to being laying down in a couple seconds and just straight onto tile. So there's no give at all. And so I'm laying on the ground. My dad is supporting my head and my mom is just bugging out. She's just like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sitting there just like, what the fuck just happened? Because <laughs> when you faint, you don't realize you fainted. You just wake up on the floor. <laughs> that must be so fucking confusing. No, it is the weirdest like you thing teleported. in the world. Didn't you faint another time too at the doctor? Yeah, I, I'll tell that story afterwards. I don't want to finish this well, one. Well, I just did, so. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit more. He fainted out. Okay, story over. So, so I, I wake up and then my parents are like freaking out. And my dad's, like, slowly helping me up. And I'm just like, yo, I'm good. Like, I can get up. <laughs> my parents are, like, 100% dead set convinced I have a concussion. Because uh-huh. I, like, I bounce when I hit the floor. <laughs> Jeez. Bouncing on tile. No good. Yeah. Definitely not the greatest thing that could happen to your head. So, like, so I'm sitting on the couch. And they're, like, freaking out. My mom has, like, ice packs on my head. And they're calling my sister, who's a registered nurse. And... Like, they're like, you need to come home right now. Liam hit his head. You need to check if he has a concussion. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, that's my sister. Uh, and <laughs> and so she's like, all right, I'm, I'll be home in a minute. And then she gets home, and she does all, like, the concussion tests. She's like, he's fine. And then I was like, see, I feel fine. And I was like, tr- I was trying to convince my parents, like, I can just walk around. Like, I'm good. He um, faints again. <laughs> no, I didn't faint again. Well, thank God. <laughs> you know how fucking terrible that would have been? <laughs> yeah, so... So, like, my parents are, my mom's like, you need to call out of work, because I had work that night. And she's like, you need to call out of work, like, you can't go into work, like, it's going to be bad. And, like, after, like, 30 minutes of sitting down, just, like, drinking water and stuff, I was like, I'm fine, I'm, I can go to work. So I had already texted my boss, like, I was like, hey, I hit my head, so I don't know if I can come to work, I might have a concussion. He was like, all right, well, if you can't come to work, that's fine, like, it's not a big deal. And then I texted him few minutes later, I was like, you know what? Actually, I'm good. Like, I don't... Danielle says I don't have a concussion, so I should be good. So he's like, all right, well, if need be, you can go home early. And I was like, that's perfect for me. So, and then that was all fun. And then the next day, I'm I'm watching my football games, and the Eagles win in a crazy fashion. And I was, like, running around, and I got really dizzy because I was running around way too much. <laughs> Jeez. You're running? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because hit a 61-yard field goal. <laughs> oh, you was like, actually, you got him and, like, <laughs> yeah, ran? Yeah. Like, I where? genuinely ran. I ran from my couch downstairs to the door, back to the couch, back to the well, kitchen. What did I do? I was just excited. <laughs> I don't think I've never seen you excited in my life. Me neither. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited by very few things, and one of which is football. Apparently. <laughs> like, I genuinely love football. Especially because the Eagles are playing the Giants. I, I don't like the Giants. I wonder what excited <laughs> Liam looks like. It's probably yeah, fucking too. retarded. <laughs> Jeez. This week, for the listeners of the Too Soon Podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a 30-day trial to give you an opportunity to check out their services. If you want to download their a free audiobook, go to audibletrial.com slash too soon. Once again, that's audibletrial.com slash too soon. That's for a free book. 
No, I didn't faint, but I was out of breath because, and I got all dizzy and shit. Because uh, generally, if you do nothing all day, you shouldn't go running around. <laughs> you should eat something. First. Yeah, there, there's that whole thing of like if you stand up too quickly. Yes, I 100% I get that. that. I hate that. I get shit. that all the time. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I think it I also happens. Is it's like all the blood rushes from your head or something. Yeah, I, I think it's. I don't know that's if it happens more never when you're tall. Up. Yeah, just you never, never stand, up. stand up. Yeah, that's how you solve this problem. I don't. I don't think it has to do with height though, because Jessica says that she gets this. Also, just in case any listeners have not realized, uh, Jessica has left the podcast. She's sitting on my couch. She now. has left the building. Uh, <laughs> so she's still in that building. Yeah, she's sitting on my couch, like. 20 feet away from me but she wants to read her book because her book is too cool for the too soon podcast it's probably more educated than we are yeah it's not audible hey it might be i don't fucking know what book is it what's the book called happiness it's called happiness it's a dumb book there you go all right well yeah. look up uh, look up happiness on audible yeah if you want to read happiness on audible go on audibletrial.com slash too soon we don't know Shameless what it's about. Plug. You tell us. Yeah, you tell us. <laughs> I didn't read it. <laughs> I like the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. It's uh, sad, but good. Yeah. That was uh, Jaden Smith's uh, Dad. first... <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> it's also him. <laughs> True. Wasn't that like his first... He got me there, boy. Pretty sure it was his first debut. Yeah, he's in an anime now. Is he, Is really? he really? Yeah, it's on Netflix. It's a Netflix original, and it looks really weird. It looks real bad. I saw a thumbnail for a video that had the title, uh, I didn't recognize the guy, so I don't remember his name, but so-and-so got a tattoo of uh, Jaden Smith on his thigh. I'm like, why is this on a late night show? It was dad. <laughs> I no, love you, son. Some dude on like Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel or something, or one of the late night shows. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with it? Maybe it's, I, I need to watch the video to get the context, but just from the title alone, it was very, I wasn't interested enough to click it, but I guess it was clickbait baby. That's kind of dumb, though. Why if you, you had to get a tattoo, tattoo of a Jayden celebrity, Smith? who would you get? Hmm. Um, That's actually pretty, uh, I'd probably get, like, Mike Tyson. <laughs> so get, with his tattoo on his face. Yeah, no, I get Mike Tyson's face with his <laughs> Mike Tyson face tattoo on my face. So I would be Mike Tyson. I'm trying to think like what would be the most legitimate? <laughs> like what would be the weird like the least weird for me? Um uh, Guy Fieri. <laughs> Yeah, I could just say it was a really weird weekend. <laughs> Every day I could go to Flavor Town. Every day I live in Flavor Town. I I don't have an answer for this. The question just uh, came to me. I know what yours would be. I, I you know I'd probably go with a musician though. Nah, Chris. I would go with a cow. No, I'm not putting myself <laughs> on myself. No. <laughs> Chris yes, I am claiming like, to look like him. I don't. No, get a, not even get close. Perfect. But just because he plays Thor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just get a perfect tattoo of your face on your face. <laughs> I am a celebrity. <laughs> no, I'd probably just get, like, the Beatles on me or something. Could you just, like, silhouette your face out as a tattoo? I mean, what if you got... You, you know what uh, Bernie Burns did to his car? Like, the... The, the shell the, shading? Cell shading, yeah. What if you did that to your face with tattoos? Huh. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody already has. Someone has to have done that. That probably yeah. looks pretty cool. Probably will never work in like a regular job again, but yeah, hopefully not. they work in entertainment or like wood shop or some shit. <laughs> a wood shop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't that's, know. Your, that's your go to personal He's a fucking tattoos. rancher. I don't know. Something where you're self employed. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I don't know, a tattoo artist? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, a, tattoo maybe artist. a tattoo artist. I thought uh, I thought wood shop was a uh, it's a good <laughs> good uh, option. Is that <laughs> even what you're called? What is what's, woodworker? What's the term for that? Because wood shop carpenter. is when you're in like fucking high school and like in a movie from the eighties. It's carpenter. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, you know who the most famous carpenter of all time is Guy Fieri. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Both uh, both valid answers. Yeah. Guy Fieri is known to work his wood. 
Yeah, guy is the best woodworker I've ever done seen. You know who is a good woodworker and is also a celebrity? Uh, that guy oh, whose name I'm forgetting. Ron Swanson? Yeah, but real mm-hmm. name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is That's his name? Yeah. What's Ron Swanson's real name? Yeah, can she just be our fact checker since... If we Google, it makes too much sound. Yeah. I don't fucking know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> she just asked me for a hint. Wait, no. Can I know? <laughs> Nick Offerman. There we go. Uh, it's it's Nick Offerman. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. I knew I knew his last name was something weird that I it wasn't gonna come to me. He is like the real man. Yeah, he is the He's manliest the man alive. Man. Besides Guy Fieri. He's the kind of person that actually makes the canoe that's in the longhouse that canoe. we light fires in, <laughs> except actually, like, well-made and not just kind of the shape of a canoe. Not just, like, a general canoe. Well, like, the one that, that is in the, uh, at the Nature Center is very lumpy and probably would just, like, turn right over if he ever tried to use it. See, I really would want to see how it works, though. I would like to test my hypothesis for sure, just not in a life and death scenario. <laughs> okay, so just in case we haven't mentioned it already, so when we go to the Nature Center, as everybody has already heard, we go to the Nature Center every week, there's this one fucking longhouse, and it just has this canoe in it. And I like to hang out in the canoe, because the canoe is, like, my favorite place. But we will... It's a safe like, place. Yeah, it's safe. And uh, it's safe from all the crickets. All the giant <laughs> crickets. Yeah. And the mice. Yeah, and the mice. The no, the mice aren't in the big one. They're in the no, small they're one. No, they're not. Well, they might. They used to be. There might be a yeah. big... Maybe there's a bigger mouse. Who knows? There's a big mouse in the small <laughs> one. But, uh, yeah, we just want to know if it will float. Yeah, there's not we really any, like, out. bodies of water nearby. I wish I wish the Nature Center had, a, like, a pond or a lake or something. I just feel like it. if you go deep enough in those It might. Woods, I don't know how far back that goes. We should look at that on, like... Google Liam, you got a truck, right? Yeah. Yeah, just steal it. I mean, just steal the canoe. It's not like a pickup truck. You have an SUV. Yeah. I like, just refer to it my as a Jeep truck. is called, considered a truck also. Well, then just it's not, put it on top. It's not a pickup. But I can pick stuff up with it. Honestly, it would probably fit in my car better than it would in yours, just because of the way that the seats in the back work in mine. No, my seat, my my back seats work like that. Do they do the same? All right. Yeah, and I I think I have more space. You might have more like length. Yeah, because my car is wide. That's why I always am able to fit like bicycles and shit in there and skis He's and all that. Mm-hmm. But I've never put a canoe in my car, oddly enough. Wow, really? I, I've never. I, I would have totally expected you to put a canoe in your car. What if uh, you walk by in through the parking lot tomorrow? And you see my car, and there's just a canoe, like, hanging out the back. And it's the one I'd from the like, Nature Center. I'd be like, yo, let's fucking go. <laughs> let's go test this Like, I would call out. you immediately. I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> Cut your class. We're going canoeing. <laughs> Leave class right now. <laughs> just get up and go. <laughs> let's get rolling. I have a quiz to, from tomorrow that I want to take because I didn't do any of the reading. I don't, I don't have a quiz tomorrow, but I, don't I have work do any tomorrow. reading ever. I have work every day. Nice. What do you do again? Pizza place? Waiter. No, I work at the pizza place, you fucking... I thought he also worked at a pizza place. Oh, I work at a Mexican restaurant. Oh. Pizza, Mexico, same thing. Yeah. Oh. Mexicans, are, <laughs> Mexicans are known for their pizza. Yeah. Oh. But there is one thing that... It's kind of the elephant in the room that we truly need to discuss for this podcast to be a true podcast. Is that we don't need Trenton? Trenton. Uh, He did. The other thing, wait, before we go on this tangent, we we did not explain the intro at all. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's a a sound clip. That's how he died. Yeah, that's how how Trenton died. He got so mad at a video game that his head exploded. Never to be seen again. He broke a piece off of his chair, I think. Yeah, he broke his that, chair. It was that. a while ago. Wasn't that his old chair? Yeah. Yeah. Was his uh, old chair. It was a while ago. That clip was a like, good while ago. That was, a, that was... I remember watching that live and I was crying. Uh, I think I had the audio chair. running in the background. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And then I pulled it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a fucking funny night. So he's playing Bloodborne and he gets killed by a boss. And he just decides that he's gonna punch down on his chair, and he breaks like part of it off. Yeah, he, goes he almost full killed the boss. Trend rage. Couldn't clutch it. 
Yeah. Like, like, he was legitimately, like, if anyone else was in that room, their life wouldn't be much longer. <laughs> they would be dead. <laughs> he did. He, he did. We should, uh, yeah, we should so... link that clip. It's a good clip. Oh, no, Even it's going to uh, be there. It's going to be in the If you don't on care about video games or anything, you just want to watch a nerd get angry, there you go. Yeah, go on YouTube. Check out our link dump. Yeah. YouTube.com, and then look up. The Too Soon Podcast. Don't look up the, though, because we're just Too Soon Podcast. Just look up Too Soon. It's always Too Soon. Yeah, it's always Too Soon on our podcast. Um, yeah, like so us. Trenton, he's not here. Yeah, he's and, uh, he's making a move, and by that yeah, I mean he decided, he's moving. He decided to move and decided that he was going to move on a Wednesday, the one day that he actually has obligations and has to record something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... I'm not going to talk that much shit because he's recording this and he's going to like yeah, edit my words around and make he's me say recording like recording it though. Hitler did nothing wrong or something. Um, well, you just said it. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't see, I give him take, that ammo? I'm taking the power away from him. Well, you're not. <laughs> you're, you just gave it to him. Do you know how yeah, editing but, works? Let, let's be real though. How many times have I said Hitler did nothing wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Probably like five. I've said it a lot. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Did let's he do anything wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I accidentally say something that like, was, like, pro-Nazi or something when I was trying yeah, to say that did. they're all dipshits or something? Yeah, mm. last week, I think. Was it like, No, I think it was... Well, I don't know. Who, Two weeks ago, last week, something like that. It's but, all the or, same. Or confirmed to be a neo-Nazi. Uh, well, it's uh, like back as, in the day when uh, when I had short hair, and every time I would go to my grandparents' house, my grandpa would say I look like a Nazi, and... Uh, and then have a big laugh, big old laugh, and then that was a that big old laugh. And now I have long hair, and he wants to cut it off. So it's either yeah, I'm a Nazi she's... or cut your hair. So I don't. I guess he just wants me to be a Nazi, even though he's Jewish. Yeah, but if you need help, we both we both understand that Nazis are bad, and we understand that Hitler was not a great guy. Yes, we're that... not. We're yeah. not. We're not ignorant. I'm a history major. I understand this. Um, yeah, so I'm a regular human being from all New right, York. Alright, history yeah. major. <laughs> Answer this I, I, for me. What's in my I, pocket? What's in your pocket? I'd say 25 cents and some lint. Nah, because I ain't wearing pants. You wrong. God damn it, you got me. <laughs> this only proves that your 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 whole pocket debacle yeah, drop was it. not important enough to be written about in the history books. Yeah. Mm. Also, so, isn't that that's just, current events? You only um, proved your own inadequacies. God is mm. ass. You want me to turn anything else around on you? I'm He's good at that right. <laughs> to, to wrap everything up, Trenton moved. Uh, he decided to move on a Wednesday like an idiot. Uh, can't record podcasts with us. Uh, we hate him. He's never coming back until next week. And then he'll be back. I saw his... Uh, 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 I, I sort of like rewatched his Snapchat story because he, he opened his Snapchat up to the public for his Twitch uh, fans. And he did uh, a whole moving day extravaganza. And uh, his new place is really nice, actually. Really? Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's it's definitely clean. It looks relatively modern. And I mean, it's unfurnished, but in time. That's pretty nice. Sharing and it it's two floors. Two gay guys. Yeah. That's heresy. You can't do that. He, uh, He's going to go to hell for that. Yeah. Yeah. What a, well, what a poor child. He's going straight to hell for living with gay people. But there's a new like, governor or senator or whatever that thinks that it should be illegal that has just been elected in a state that I don't remember. So one of the like states Florida that is kind of like irrelevant. No offense if you live in an irrelevant state, but if you're listening to this podcast, Alabama. that means you're a citizen of the internet and you understand that you live in an irrelevant part of the country. Yeah. Congratulations. So. I don't know, move or don't, <laughs> accept it or don't. Move don't or know. don't, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Be <laughs> country. Just don't be a Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want, just Jeez. don't be a Nazi. Yeah, don't be a Nazi, Nazis are bad. Okay. Okay. Except for Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> he, Hitler actually uh, came up in my uh, cinema class today a few times. We saw some pictures of young Hitler while uh, apparently he like he support he had... Uh, he supported certain aspects of the German uh, cinema peeps. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Cinematographers? <laughs> no, because at that time the, the term cinematographer was not yet coined. 
They, they still, they were still. Uh, anytime they did get credit, they were called photographers, or at least that's what I've noticed in all of the credits of the old movies that we watched. M- movie photographers, moving uh, photographers. No, they don't even call them that. They just say photographers. Were they called photos. Yeah, you're just staring at a photo for moving two hours. Moving picture boxes. <laughs> moving moving picture, picture boxes. Box. Let's just make it more and more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's my job. Just make everything more complicated. I also found out where the uh, term Nickelodeon came from, from this quote. I feel like I knew it already, but I totally forgot and didn't care, and now I, I re-know it, and I care a little bit more, I guess. But what basically, a Nickelodeon oh, was like the original movie theater. It wasn't really a movie theater, but uh, for a nickel, you could go in there and kind of look into a personal you showing box. Like, you know those, you know those toys where... They look like little plastic binoculars. That, I don't know if they exist. Oh anymore. yeah, the thing. But you that, just look like, at a picture click. and then you like pull the trigger and it changes to a different picture. Man, I wish I knew what that was fucking called. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, picture binoculars, cinematographer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's basically like that, except you watch uh, the the pictures are automatically rotating, or I don't know if it was automatic or you had to do a crank, but they were rotating at a certain speed, so it looked like a movie. And you would pay a nickel, enter there. It was kind of like an arcade almost. And you just go Yo, there and look like, at this is shit. Is it like the yeah. thing from uh, the, what was it, the Babadook? Where it was like that spinny thing? And then you see no, the never seen that movie. stick man walk in? Uh, it's kind of, that I think came about around the same time. Or maybe earlier, but uh, this was, uh, I think the original term was kind of, a, it was called a peep show. And that's how the whole like... Huh. It became naughty eventually because it's a private showing, and oh, uh, interesting. but it, it, they called them Nickelodeons because for a nickel, uh, you could go you get to an Odeon. An Odeon, which is I don't remember what language, but I think it essentially means I don't know. I'm gonna get this wrong. Let, you know what? Let's look up Odeon. Well, I don't want to be an idiot. Let's find out. Let's find out. Odeon. Uh, Odeon restaurant. Yep, that's what I'm fucking looking for. Yep. Thanks, Google. You're looking for an Odeon restaurant. And thanks, every other millennial that Googles Odeon and doesn't actually want to find out the definition. All right, that's the end of the podcast. We found out <laughs> what an Odeon is. Good night. Okay, here we go. Uh, especially in ancient Greece or Rome, a building used for musical performances. So basically a theater, I guess. Yeah. So for a nickel theater. But I got Odeon. robbed, uh... I had a little small TV in my room and a DVD player, and I would watch nothing but uh, Popeye. Okay. So uh, I actually remember an episode where it was basically that. It was like for a dime, though. And it's a Dimodian? A Dimodian. Yeah. <laughs> and then basically fighting over uh, which ones to look at, who's, I guess, what, theater would you call it? I don't know what you call it. I know you just explained it, but I don't An know. An Odeon? Yeah, an Odeon. <laughs> Who's Odeon to go to? <laughs> so basically them fighting over and like showing uh like clips or whatever. Like how it looked like it was like uh pictures, but they would just kind of go through really fast. Moving oh. talkie pictures? Yeah, talkie pictures. Well, apparently uh most Nickelodeons uh that were in like I I think they were only really in major uh like cities and whatnot, uh, they were primarily owned by Jews, and that's kind of how Jews got their start in cinema and how like they made Hollywood, like, and how they own everything in Hollywood. I, I was gonna make a Hitler joke there. But I didn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> on, actually, like a lot of uh, that's where a Hitler lot of the Jews wrong. came go, <laughs> because they were running from persecution maybe not necessarily by hitler at the time because it wasn't that time yet but that's yeah, why the, they came over the Jews are they, always just getting fucking yelled at and, they're always running from other places finding yeah. a place that's temporarily slate it's safe yeah, like, and we're good making here money and then something terrible they're happens not and they're like, we're they gotta here. go yeah you gotta go terrible. and then you, you find out that uh cinema is a good way to make money so that you can make sure you can leave the next time someone hates you for no reason <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what it is with the Jews. No I don't know. I, always everybody hates, hates us. I yeah, don't know. Man. Poor Jews, man. I say us because technically I'm a Jew. Technically. I'm, I'm an atheist, uh, but I'm a Jew. You got this podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Run me out of town. On this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friends don't believe me that I'm Jewish because I look Aryan as fuck. 
I mean, and it I'm doesn't matter if you're Aryan. You can be Aryan and Jewish. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> people have the... I mean, it's kind of racist, but people have the whole, like, you don't look like a Jew. Just like how you could be black and Jewish, technically. Yeah. I mean, even to me, that's strange. <laughs> is anything worse than a neo-Nazi? What? There is genuinely... I, I think there's very few things worse than a neo-Nazi, one of which may possibly be a terrorist, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess whoever, in their own minds, accomplishes more. Like if, if you're an accomplished Nazi, then a you're worse than, non, than an unaccomplished yeah, terrorist. If you're a furry neo-Nazi that happens to do terrorist acts, like I don't, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> but you guys want to hear something that I found out the other night that I thought was pretty funny? That you're a furry? I'm not a furry. Uh, <laughs> The first Yet. act of terrorism in the Middle East was done by a Christian. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Good old terrorism in the Middle but, East. I mean, how? What does that they what do? do you mean? The first. Like, uh, well, the first major recorded uh, action where somebody took a bomb and threw it into a crowd of people trying to kill the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> well, that sounds and like he, a like an attempted assassination. Yeah, but it's terror. Yeah, and, but, but I don't he, know. Like he terror threw a bomb into, be a, he threw a bomb into as... a crowd, killed twenty six people, none of which were the Sultan or any of his people. So I guess it would have to be defined. <laughs> you as think the he was first just like, recording. "Oh dang, I messed yeah. up." He's like, "Fuck, I missed." <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, terror terrorism is very subjective. Because yeah. if you if you're the terrorist, you view yourself as a freedom fighter or a fighter for whatever you believe in. So it's basically it's it's another situation of the winner tells history. Winner right now we are the history books. We're we're the only people that write, so we call the people that attack us terrorists. But I if, mean, I feel like the terrorists write too. Well, they're still terrorists. They they write Quran copies. I don't know what else are they writing. Yo, that's fucking very <laughs> Zionist. What I mean, the whole thing right now is that. Americans view Muslims as terrorists, correct? Yo, so. this is racist. I need to leave. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a New Yorker. You already know my... Uh, Muslims are not all terrorists. Yes, exactly. <laughs> They're okay, Not all people. terrorists are Muslims. Not all Muslims are terrorists. You don't want to know something that's really... It's always such a weird question to answer. I like them. What, every now and then, uh, my grandparents will kind of talk about... Uh, They'll talk about, like, oh, how how many people in Manhattanville like Trump? And I'm like, well, I mean, there were more before they got kicked out. <laughs> there for... were, like, five, and then they all got yeah. kicked out of the school. <laughs> they got kicked out for uh, vandalizing every Muslim's uh, dorm. So, uh, and they're like, oh, that's a shame. And then they, like, they're, they're very sympathetic, and I'm like, okay, that, that's good. At least they, they know that that's a bad thing to do. Uh, and then they're like, are the, they are like the Muslim students stay. nice? Are they nice people? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Bombs they're people. They're New Yorkers. Of course they're fucking... <laughs> I mean, they're as nice as a New Yorker gets. A lot of them are nerds. What do you want? <laughs> it's, it's what Imagine your grandparents. Well, maybe they did deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what their thought process is. They just want to know that I'm safe, I guess. <laughs> I mean... And I'm like... Honestly, no offense to the Muslims at Manhattanville, but you're yes. some of the nerdiest and least threatening people there. Is but there that has nothing to... they start to kill people, just even a little bit. Yeah, I have no inkling of fear when at Manhattanville. Aside from yeah. when that kid who posted on Facebook that he was going to kill everyone for getting kicked out of the kill drag queen club twice. Yeah, um, I'm glad they didn't bring him back. They tried. They thought what? about it, and then they're like, "No." Didn't we tell yeah, this story? Were... I feel like we yeah, had we to. Told we this might story have, before. but. Well, I'll retell it quickly. Basically, there was this kid who, uh, very troubled, he, uh, he was a cross-dresser, and he, I remember the, before the semester, or the first, like, freshman semester even started, a Facebook group was made for all accepted students. I guess it's probably pretty common for all colleges to do that, and... He was one of the first and only people to post. Like, you know, the the people that actually post in those before anyone meets each other, just stay away from those people. I don't care what school yeah, you're at. He, and he was the kind of, he was the guy that posted and he was like, hey, I'm whatever my name is and I'm a cross-dresser. Yeah, he just blah, like, blah, blah, blah. like, he just like, straight up. Like, that's his, he owned that's it his for sure. thing. 
But I it's mean, it's just like, all right, you're okay. You're allowed to do that. Nothing, whatever. But just yeah, accept the problem. accept the social consequences of people being like, all right, you're weird because not necessarily because you're a cross dresser, but because you're deciding that everyone in the whole fucking school needs to know yeah, before they ever know. meet you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this kid, before he uh, went bad, he uh, would kind of just. I, I never slept overnight at the school, but I heard stories from my friends who live there of him just, like, going out in the quad, which is kind of the common space in the middle of the campus, at the middle of the night, and just, like, dancing to no music. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. And, and he was in, like, full uh, cross-dress gear, which he had this... I think he had a black wig with, like, different color highlights. It was, like... The thing with cross-dressing that I don't understand... And feel free to let me know why this is. None of them really seem to try to look like girls that exist. Like, the, their styles don't exist in female America. Between, I don't know if it's a difference or if it's the same thing between cross-dressing and, like, drag. Well, yeah. that's that's where this story is leading. He He wanted to join the drag queen club, and he did. But it turned out that he was also just an asshole... Like, <laughs> I'm not going to say, I mean, I, I'm, I want to say on top of everything else, because it is like, you got the, all of this, you I'm got all this package, he was an asshole, you got this giant asshole, package of, of things that are already going against you just in society in general. And then you're going to also be an asshole. It's like, it's like being the fat kid 22. in middle school, but not being funny. Like, like that's the Hitler. only way you survive if it's you're a fat like kid in middle Hitler. school is if you're there a you funny go. kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being Hitler, exactly. Perfect comparison. It's not. Uh, but yeah, so he was also apparently just an asshole who was very arrogant and I guess very sensitive, even though the people he was uh, taking insults from were drag queens. So he got kicked out of the drag queen club. And uh, imagine that. What an accomplishment. I don't know how you managed to do that, uh, considering they've got to be the most accepting group of people on the planet. And uh, he got mad because of that, obviously, and he went on Facebook and decided he was going to threaten the lives of all students at Manhattanville. Mm. What if uh, it... And I think he, like, I, 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 the story, I think it's more of like a game of telephone, so I don't know if I have the exact details, but he, uh, I think he deleted the post, uh, got in trouble, then almost was accepted back in, they almost forgave him, and then like posted again or something, and then the school was like, alright, now get out. Uh, and then he was scheduled to come back like a year later and I was going to be really angry if he did, not because of any of the other things that's with him, but just because he wants to kill me and I don't I even the know the fuck part is that mm. you have to preface, I don't want him back, not because he's a drag queen or anything, <laughs> but because, not because of all asshole. the other shit that like, I don't give a shit about. Do whatever the fuck you want, but allow me to make fun of you also. What if it was like I a stupid know. reason they kicked him out of the club? Like, uh, hey, no, he, he likes Fig Newtons. We didn't like Apparently that. everyone he, <laughs> he talked to Newtons. just what hated asshole. him. <laughs> he likes Fig Newtons. Get out. <laughs> what an Get asshole. Out of here. I mean, Fig Newtons are not very good. No, not at all. I don't really know. Like, I I remember they're filling, so it's like a good quick snack, but I, I, don't, I don't get the... I don't get why you'd want them. I've never craved a fig new. Never liked them. You you guys know what I just realized? What? What's that? So Trenton's gone for one week. And what are the topics we talk about? Hitler, drag queens. <laughs> Well, don't drag, like queens is, drag queen. Drag queen's the kind of topic we would be more likely to talk about if he were here. That's yeah. true. But we talked a lot about Hitler this week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I brought some historical uh, information into play with uh, German... Talked uh, about cinema. terrorists. <laughs> Talked about Nickelodeons. terrorists. Nickelodeons. 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 Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, that's the fun fact of the week is where the yeah, term yeah, Nickelodeon think... came from. Because, like, as a kid, you don't even is... think it's a term. You think some dude just made it up and put it on TV. Thus far, this is a pretty solid Liam episode. doesn't know what's in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, Liam, what... Because it's not written in the history books because... Yeah. You will die without a bang, but with a, with a whimper. Ooh, was a T.S. Eliot, right? T.S.A. agent, yeah. T.S.A. Uh, agent. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Let's just play verbal connect the dots. No, I 
I said T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot. Right, well, I know for a fact that I Now let's one. talk about how effective is the T.S.A. Hold up, guys. I have <laughs> oh. I have a story that I need to talk about. All right. And it's a new uh, segment on the reoccurring section of the podcast of things Liam doesn't like. Okay. Uh, Fig news. This I think that's this, just the whole podcast is things we don't like. Well, no, things specifically that I don't like because I'm passionate about the shit I don't like. <laughs> I'm just angry. So today I got I nearly got into a fight with a bicyclist because <laughs> every single person that rides a bike, in my opinion, is an asshole. <laughs> Everybody, all bicyclists. Every single one, even because, the children. Yeah, especially the kids. Um, so <laughs> yeah, my I ride a bike to work. I was driving Asshole. to go get some food before we recorded this podcast, and the like. There was like a flock of guys riding their bikes down the street, like flock. you know, like they're they're race, asleep. like those racing bikes and shit. Yeah, I know. And that. so, know like, I'm just upset because they're like taking up the entire road and they're going 20 miles an hour. I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I'll just fucking let it slide. And then I'm fucking, and then I'm going to get food, and I'm turning into, I'm turning onto the street that I, like the food's on. And this fucking bicyclist comes at like comes down the street and he like very easily could have avoided me and I was nowhere in the realm that I would have hit him and then he goes, Hey, you need to stop, fuck face and I look him in the eye. I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like Jessica would be That's when you just in- like rev your engine. Oh, no, I, I started <sighs> screaming. Like I was just screaming. I was so mad. And I was just telling Jessica, I'm like, I'm just so fucking heated right now. Like, I'm mad because of this guy. Like, this guy pissed me off. Yeah, I, so I think much. I would have a pretty strong negative Liam, reaction. Let me ask and, you. No, but literally, f- right before this, I was telling Jessica, I was like, I swear to God, I want to get out of my car right now and just take a bat and just destroy every single one of these fucking kids' bikes. Because they're like the super flimsy bikes. So, one hit with a fucking bat would just b- explode that bike. And then that happens. And I'm like, I just want, I want to run that guy over. Like, I, I really want to run that guy over. <laughs> Jeez. And was a that's lock of geese on bikes. Of the day. How would you feel about that? I'd probably just be as mad. I'd be impressed. <laughs> if it was a what? Geese are riding bike. A oh, flock of geese but... just riding the bikes. I'd be pretty impressed. But I'd also <laughs> You'd be, be out your window yelling at a way. goose. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. No reason at all, just just to yell. You got wings. Why are you on a bike? <laughs> were you were you on the midnight run where the driver of the bus almost ran over a bicyclist in the city? No, I wasn't. That was well, like the that, first. That was one a I great day. <laughs> that was a very good day. Just to, well, you can't start I think that, the story and stop it right there. All right, right? yeah. Well, basically, uh, midnight run is a program at the Duchenne Center, which is what we do for the it, like we go to the nature center for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's not like just a, us. It's but a church thing. It's how we have access to it, uh, is through the Duchenne Center. And I think the first time I ever went on it, basically what it is, is you go to the city on a bus with a bunch of supplies, like uh, food, uh, Water, drinks, clothes, uh, toiletries, soap. all that shit. And you, uh, you go to designated spots uh, and... Uh, you just give it, give stuff out to the homeless and try to make it equal and fair and all that. And, uh, and there was one day we have, we have two drivers. One is a very calm and collected guy who just listens to generic shitty music. So that's the only negative about him. He's a very cool guy. Otherwise, I just hate his music choice and he forces everyone on the goddamn bus to listen to it. But 90% of them like it too. And they all sing along and it like makes the kind experience of 10 times worse. You know, just whatever's on Z100, which I guess you don't have, but uh, Z100 is just pop like music. pop music. Whatever's, ah. whatever's the top charts. And it's like the same 10, 15 songs over and over and over again. I literally, Gosh. the fucking, I remember one day where they literally played the same four songs that played in a, in a certain order. They played the same four songs in the same order on the way back. And I was like, this is just this Feels is just bad. some dude's tiny yeah, radio playlist. Sucks. Radio is so fucking bad. It, honestly, uh, except in Jersey. Like, Jersey has got good radio. That's what you gotta do. Be like, hey, pass me that ox core, fam. And then... Well, it's a bus, that good and I'm not in the front. <laughs> See, that's, <laughs> that's where you fucked up. Yep. 
Uh, the the bins that are filled with clothes sit in the front, and so does Craig, our cocaine leader. <laughs> oh, Craig! In the front, we got the bins, and then Craig. Don't mess with Craig. <laughs> and Craig, he keep to himself. Craig's great. <laughs> Craig, I don't know. Do, do we ever talk about Craig? I don't know, but he's out of his mind. Finish well, your anyway, story. anyways, yeah, this dude who not the guy with the bad music, but the other guy is. Very stereotypical New Yorker. And he pretty much all but completely crushed a bicyclist. <laughs> and uh, and the bicyclist was understandably understandably angry because he almost died from a bus. That's It's like a coach bus, like a legit giant bus that shouldn't even be in that part of New York anyways because it just doesn't fit in the alleys. Uh, and... He starts yelling at the bicyclists, and they just yell back and forth while in the middle of an intersection for, like, eight minutes. And everyone's just sitting in the bus. Craig's afraid to say anything, and <laughs> everyone's just sitting there watching. And they go like, take my bins. You, you, it's funny, because, like, the, clo- the further forward you were sitting in the bus, the more afraid you were. The further back, the more the funny more you, you thought the situation was. Because the people in the back were all laughing. The middle was kind of, like, uneasy, but still kind of funny and the people in the front were just scared but uh yeah so we almost killed a person while trying to feed people while trying to help the homeless yeah it's catch but, uh, and and craig you should uh you should describe craig for them all right so craig is the kind of guy that he's like way too hyperactive he's like, unbelievably hyper yeah like to the point of how... i don't know if he ever sleeps and i don't know how he's not yeah, you don't know not how he always asleep. stays at this level at all points yeah but like he is always at this like a, an 11 out of 10 <laughs> and i don't know how he does it i don't know why he does it but it's impressive and at the beginning of every midnight run he does the same spiel which is basically his like background story <laughs> semi in song almost kind of like what is it uh slam poetry is how, yeah. what i would compare it to and did you, and uh, he, he essentially did you tell us what that relates is? it to uh it's called uh west side story yeah 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 he always he, he always relates it to west side story uh he talks about his dad uh and how his dad was uh set to be married to a woman who was like very loud and attractive and he said no 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 i want the small quiet one and or something along those lines i don't know the fucking poem by heart (laughs) and uh and then they got married and had craig and craig tells this fucking story every Every goddamn time time. like and like he memorized this story and it's a whole song and dance where he's literally like dancing basically (laughs) every fucking week he'll and he will always tell you that his like he misses his dog, and oh, yeah. he'll point he'll point up as if the dog is dead. But he'll be like, "She's not dead. She's just in Florida with my ex girlfriend. She took it. <laughs> she took it. Yeah, his <laughs> dog was stolen by sing- his ex girlfriend. Every like single Craig. time, it makes me laugh so hard. I know. It's the just the way ever. he says it is Craig so sounds funny. Nice. He's Craig's great. great. He's great I love dude. Craig. It's just like I I can't if if I was to ever be in a social social situation with him, I just couldn't. Like, I just yeah, couldn't, I wouldn't, be handle, I wouldn't, I'd just be tired from looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the shortest night ever, because I'm asleep all Comes out of nowhere. Just, you guys like Fig Newtons? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, then, like a handful of them, not even a package, just like in his hand. And then at the end of his slam poem, he turns into a cheerleader, where he's basically trying to hype up all of these angsty teenagers. <laughs> and because, oh, you're going to you're going to help the the needy and all that and no one gives a shit. They just they're just there for their hours. Yeah, they need uh, everyone's hours a piece of shit. Like everybody in that program is such a fucking piece of shit. Everyone's yeah, such a lazy cocksucker and I hate it. They're they all suck. And but they're accepted in this program that's like uh oh, you're so great that you volunteers. No, you're getting paid. It's a fucking job. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna say I'm such a great fucking person because I probably wouldn't be doing the Nature Center if I wasn't getting this scholarship and getting paid for it. Basically, I mean, it's the easiest thing to do, though. Yeah, it is also the easiest thing to do. But I probably, I don't think I ever would have started. Would I continue? Possibly, if I have nothing else to do. I don't know. But 
these people are the type of person who they don't want to do something, so they're going to make everybody on the fucking planet know about it. I don't want to be here, and I'm just not going to be helpful in any way. You need to carry that? Okay, I'm just going to sit over here. Yeah. And they just don't do a goddamn thing. And they'll, and they they'll just, sit like, there on their phone with their sour puss. Yeah, they make like time. dumb snarky jokes at people that are actually working and helping. And you, just, yeah. oh, I hate it. I hate these people. But, but you know what else I hate? What else do you hate? Not listening to music. So <laughs> okay, I was gonna this go back week, and crack, but sure. Good segue. Good segue. <laughs> this week, I like I'm it. gonna suggest. What song am I gonna suggest? Go for broke by MGK. Because we're starting to get a little long, and the fact that Trenton's not on this podcast, I can imagine, is going to bore him. Uh, <laughs> you just call call him self-absorbed? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Fuck you, Trenton. <laughs> Dang. Uh, what did I suggest last week? I don't fucking know. I don't listen to the podcast. Oh, uh, it's the Jezahel. All right, uh... I'll suggest um, Bang Bang by either Frank Sinatra or Nancy Sinatra because they're both very good songs. With me. I'll, I'll put both in because fuck it. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. I'm in control of this playlist. I can put as many songs as I want. Nice. I can delete this fucking songs if I want to. Bitch. Trey, do you know what song you're doing or should I go into social media stuff? I'm gonna have to go with Books of War by Raw to Mars. You guys are gonna have to write this shit down. I'm too hot to remember what you said and put it in. Fair um, enough. Uh, so, if you guys wanna get in contact with us, let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think about the podcast. Hit us up Craig on Twitter. You said hi. At Too Soon Podcast. Yeah. Tell us to tell Craig that you said hi. Yeah, that's Give right. a good We're shout out Facebook, to Craig. Facebook.com slash Too Soon Podcast. Uh, if you want to email us, hit us up at the Too Soon Crew at gmail.com. Uh, we're on YouTube at Too Soon Podcast. That's where you'll find the link dump and all that shit. I put a lot of effort into that and I make it real nice. Uh, if you want to download the podcast, you know where to go. We're on iTunes, Google Play, Libs and Stitcher, tune in, wherever you want to listen to podcasts, we're there. Uh, if you want to see us every once in a while play games with us but join the discord discord.me slash too soon podcast and then if you want to listen to the gorgeous music that we suggest every week hit up the too soon playlist on spotify we are always there and then i don't know if trenton did it this week or last week or whatever but check out mallow our good ugh, our good friend <laughs> it's called he makes music and he lets us use our his music on our podcast so we got to give him some support. Yeah, I think his new song was at the end of last episode. Wasn't Hell yeah. If you like that check. shit, check out Tasty Melons on SoundCloud. And there is probably more to come because I doubt that he will just stop making music for no reason. But yeah. And uh, shout out to Craig for dealing with all those yeah. assholes. Shout out to Craig for being, him. Yeah, for being a like, crazy, hyper, psychoactive yeah. person. Craig and the real MVP. Being, being a homie. What's the what's the cheer that he always makes us do before before uh, we go out? It's like it's our time. Whose time? Our time. Like stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we then he does the inevitable. I can't hear you kind of yeah. thing. And then you have to say it louder, otherwise we're not going anywhere. Yeah, unless we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Good oh, times. God. Good times. All right. So we've furthermore proven that we can do a podcast without Trenton. Um, and that not there's my dog. He's barking. Uh, so that means it's time for the podcast to be over. Yeah. Do you want to exit us out, Milo? You want to give us a howl? Yo, how, do a little howl. All right, yeah, come on, Milo. Milo. You ready? Send us out. Milo. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Come on, Milo. You can do it. There you go. Ow! Get it out, Milo. <laughs> get the demons out. Wake the neighborhood up, Milo. Wake them <laughs> the up. Demons out, Milo. Out. Get the demons out. <laughs> Let them out. <laughs> <laughs> Name of this episode. <laughs> Rejoice. Let the demons out, For Milo. For they are gone. <laughs>